So overheating is a is a metaphor and it's easily misunderstood because when you say overheating people will immediately think about climate change and about the warming planet. And that's only one bit of it. So overheating as such refers to accelerated change in general. There is a feeling that I've had for many years and that I'm trying to document in this book called Overheating and only also in the research program, uh, which is part of, that uh, something has happened to modernity in the last only 15 to 20 years, that it's somehow accelerated. Modernity has always been associated with change, with speed, with development and so on and so forth. And there is a real sense in which only since the 1990s that this speed has sped up so it's become even faster. Um, we see this in a number of real you see it in tourism. There's been, a, I mean, the number of tourist arrivals only since the late 1970s has increased by several hundred percent from 200 million to 1 billion tourist arrivals. The number of photos taken in the world has trebled only since 2010. Uh, Coal exports. Many people think that coal is the energy of the past. It's a very 19th century Victorian kind of energy. But it's not true. Coal exports have doubled between 2003 and 2013. And we, so we see this accelerated change, this fast growth in the number of different domains. So overheating, you might say, it refers to what happens when you rub your hands together really quickly. They warm up. But if you could do it really, really fast, your hands would eventually burn up. Now, of course, this doesn't happen to hands because we have, as human beings, a thermostat which tells us that you shouldn't rub your hands together this fast. It wouldn't be physically possible. The problem, as I see it in today's world, is that we see all of these accelerated processes of change and uh, various developments uh, that are growing and uh, accelerating uh, without a thermostat, without a regulating mechanism which tells them it's time to stop. So uh, when we see all of these growth curves that go up like this, you know that sooner or later they're going to flatten out. The question is, Will they end with a bang or with a whimper? That is one big question that many of us are asking ourselves. Now, when I set to work on this project called Overheating, it, it was somehow born out of various strands in my previous interests and frustrations. For one thing, there is a very large literature on globalization interdisciplinary. Some of it is very sort of broad and wide-ranging. Some of it is very local and, and about uh, communities in various parts of the world and the ways in which they respond to and relate to globalization. And my feeling was that, well, this literature, somehow much of it is either too general or too specific. So what I'm trying to do in my own work now is to combine these two strands, to combine these two perspectives. The perspective from below, the unique, that which cannot be scaled up without losing its character, that which is only local and which is defined from within and which is hugely diverse across the planet, the kind of stuff that anthropology is about on the one hand and on the other hand these large-scale overarching processes that we, we, we have various labels for such as global neoliberalism uh, or, or the Anthropocene, you know, the entire planet has become one place, cosmopolitanism and so on and so forth. Trying to combine these perspectives and see what comes out of it. Well, one argument that runs through my book is about clashing scales, about the way in which the large scale and the small scale somehow never fit together, they never fit completely together. A standard narrative about globalization, not least from anthropology, is about the way in which the large scale overruns and somehow obliterates or standardizes the small scale which is very often a threat, but it doesn't always happen. Sometimes the small scale withdraws, it resists, it finds ways around the large scale. It may even find ways of subverting and exploiting the large scale. So uh, that's to a great extent what this book is about.